I would love to go into detail of that. Because that looks very odd to me. I'm pretty sure there was an EPS season in 2009 as well. But no, I was not benched, Rosie. <laughs> I was never benched. And I don't... I never dropped out of EPS either. Not sure. Probably someone should have to double check on Liquipedia in 2009 and see if there is some anomaly. Anyways, what do we have? Let me put in the, the names here real quick. Left team. Vinland Raiders. Oh, wait. And uh, what do we have on the other side? Space goofs, right? I think that's how they call themselves. <clears throat> Wasn't Meta Madness a thing during HEC? No, I don't remember playing anything like that back in the day. I think TI, I think like that the tournament is probably way too big to have drafting rules like this. But they could probably they they could probably have like a, a big to tournament in Dota that uh, that has um, that has a similar like meta madness draft. But the but TI is probably way too big, right? Like I I don't think the players would like that. Hmm. 2009 is yeah I'm pretty sure I played EPS in 2009 as well like I would be very surprised I never dropped out of EPS so might be a bug on the on the other homepage but I'm not sure Maybe the way the, the seasons worked. I'm not sure, actually. Hmm. On Wikipedia results, it's in here, 2009. The like, the, when Rosie mentioned it, right, when I checked... Because the, the only tournament that was put on the other one... Um, ...was like an international event, so for sure I played like several ones... ...during that time. Anyways... What do we have? Chen? Chen, Turaye. Lucio, Cassia, and Johanna. Maya, Fogger, Blazer, Band. Stop googling, Azu. It's okay, I pay my taxes. Upper third ban. So they are... They are sniffing something uh, spicy here. But it's Malfurion Genji. Pretty. 
what you would expect. Amazon Mines, I think it's not very good, by the way. Tana Sonia. So very early game heavy. Like very brawly. They might with this roster they might uh, or with this draft they might invade the the Sapa, I think. They might want to fight for it. Jaina. Jaina is very good in into melee drafts like this. She needs level 7. That's when she becomes really strong. He's a tax man. Death, Death Knight is first of all world champion and then on the side he's working a little bit with taxes. Haunted Mines, guys. Venture underground. The mines will peri periodically open with an undead army underneath. After the army has been defeated, the golems will arise for both teams. The more skulls your team collects, the stronger the, your golem. And it is very strong, as we've seen in the best of five before. In fact, you might just end the game with it, with the second one that you get. Because they are very feisty. Commencing in ten seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, four, three, two, 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 one. Let the battle begin. Mada, mada. Both Atatnis and Sonia <clears throat> checking their level ones. I zoomed in too late, sorry, because I was drinking tea. I wanted to zoom on my Furion, but I couldn't because I only had one hand. Never take the hands of the keyboard, guys. Uh, nice swap. My Furion was in. Then he was out. Genji saying hello to Sonya. And because my Furion lost, uh, died, they got a good amount of the wall. And look at this. They instantly rotate to fight the camp. And now, imagine you're Jaina here. You use Blizzard for the camp. And now your team tells you to fight. Awful. Absolutely awful. He goes down as well. And uh, I think this game looks very rough. I like it though. They drafted for Brawl and they instantly run towards it. Jaina needs level 7. She's completely useless until then. Good route by Malfurion. The Moonfires are keeping him alive. Yes. Mostly because they all stacked on each other.
Genji gets one. Missed the second E though. If he hits the second E, he cleans up completely, but... Shana gets out. Good kills though. Very good kills. Mostly because... Actually... I don't know. Maybe they could have gotten out a bit earlier. Like the try on Tural was not bad, I'd say. But Malfurion had very good root and then Moonfires because they were all clumping. And then I guess... I mean, Genji just run them down, I guess. <laughs> not so easy to get away from that guy. Not too bad, though. The goofs. Fighting back. And because... So, they stole this camp, right? But then they did shenanigans on top instead of, like, getting the other Sapper and, like, controlling the map. So, experience is quite even. We have the first... First Skulls getting picked up. Sonya is outside the mines. Sonya is inside the mines. She's completely uh, alone. No, no root attempt, interestingly enough. He didn't even try. Sonya just went through four heroes here, by the way. Cassia is still down here. This time he lands the root. Get a kill. The kill will result into the remaining skulls from the boss. What did they do? They took an easy camp. Sixty skulls for the goofs. Chen is out. Genji is stealing vision away. Let's see how they split. How they do the split. Cassia is alive. Turael is not. Meanwhile, Sonya is hitting the boss. Root onto Lucio! Hi, hi, hi! Lucio gets rooted, bro. Jana went down already. Atanis. Is not a very good hero at running away once he's in, so he goes down as well. And they will save the fort, I believe. Sonya slamming the boss until it's gone, so she only lost the wall. Ah, what a root on Lucio. Johanna, by the way. Um. Healing reduction on 7 instead of the... Isn't level 7 the movement speed on W? Nano might look for a swap here. Gets rooted though. I think Genji asked his team, guys, I've never played this map. Should I cap the easy or not? Do guys, what do you think? <laughs> do we want this fucking cam? Just cap it, but probably was the answer. 
Because if, like, he can leave it there. But the timer, it's so long before the next mine spawns. It's, it's very awkward. I don't know. He did it so early that well, I think you just kept it. Sapa cam. Sonya is doing very easy. By the way, Wrath. What else do we have? Keg. Oh, Ring. Yasu is feeling uh, his inner mana. He has basically zero setup. So if he lands a good ring, it's all in his hands. Which is exactly what mana would do, right? Actually, mana very often had very good setup, though. But he would go ring no matter what. I, all, every game, he would always do it. Genji is stealing the value camp. Or is trying to get some. Oh! My Furion taking the door! Could have got blast shielded there. Now they are in and now you see how uncomfortable it is for them. Turai goes out again. Kick! The ambush out of the mines! It's crazy! It didn't do anything! <laughs> Did it! Nice sanctification ring. Almost as good as Mena Yasu, but to be fair, Yasu is playing with 500 ping. My Furion is very low. He gets shielded one more time. X strike for good measures. Space Goofs are winning the fight with the Haunted Mind's bamboozle strategy. Go in, go in, go in, go out. Boom. Caught the opponents. I don't know if they caught them off guard, because it was very painful and slow for both teams, but... It worked! Going in and going out. Going in again. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure he could have less shielded the Malf, because he was... You know, there's like this little duck family. They all, all hold hands. But my Furion got left behind. He was like on the other side of the street. Pretty sure they could have just blessed him. Kek. Trying to pierce my Malfurion, but they're all unstoppable. Both Atanas and Johanna cannot be kicked. Because of the unstoppable. They stuck onto the Malfurion. Goes down. There is one little skull left here Johanna trying to kill the fort and they will do so you see it guys this one the difference maker whoever picks up the skull wins the game trust me if you pick this one up you win Space Goofs are losing both forts here. Yeah. Genji picked it up. Genji won the game. Zero man. Actually, maybe he hit, but he got uh, cleansed. Oh, what a root. Hoi, 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 what a root. Beautiful. Holy ground to get out of it. Jaina, uh... They still have Blast Shield. They still have Blast Shield, by the way. Wait, they didn't use anything. They killed Jaina with uh, bare hands. Level 14 coming up for both teams. Tural stealing vision. Not gonna matter because they will instantly claim it back right after this phase. Yeah. Maybe it's better for him to auto attack the boss, but I think it's... I mean, I don't know. The tower doesn't die either. We have tech for the point, but... Flash shield. Good cleanse. Ring of Frost. 
It hit everyone again, but somehow they are dodging. Sanctification, five people. Oh, what a Malfru! Two people again, Lucio Zen! How? How does he get rooted by Malf every time? I don't understand, Johanna goes down as well. And Yasu, four rings in a row, zero people. But they are winning so easy. Oh! Does it feel to be good? Like, it has to be good. It must feel so good to be the Jaina here. <laughs> hi, 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 man, X-Ray completely shitting on them with the roots. He did get killed a few times. But he has very impactful roots so far. Oh, what a sank though. Five people in the sanctification. Lucio can interrupt it. Joanna can interrupt it. Like when they start when they start huddling up, you can see it because you can you can hear it in their voice comms. You can hear he's saying, I will sank to you. Just the way they walk. That's when Lucio presses Q. Might get the interrupt. It's difficult if they don't. Because some of the heroes are very committed. And I mean, I guess they got two men rooted on the way out, which... That is a crime. Level 16. Chen is maybe baiting. Baiting them into a fight. His team is kind of far away, though, but... I don't think they can kill Chen on time, even if they go on him now. You can still click, even the... Because the, the way you enter the door... It's a bit further. Chen wants to go out again, I think. They want to... They're doing the same special tactics! Look at them! Why is my Furion so slow? Does he not have any Q? No, he does have a few Qs on them. So waddling very slowly there. Special tactics. They went into the bottom side, though. Chen is looking. I can look here. 16 both sides now. No advantage anymore. Flash shield. Onto Tyrael, that's how you kill him, maybe! Tyrael is very low! Zero man! The ring, bro! Yasu! This time there is no sanctification, because Tyrael is dead. Ice block by Jaina. Does okay damage. Atanis will go down. Lucio gets the knockback! Oh, and the Sonya slam! The giant! Giant Slammer. It's a good route, but it's, uh... This, this one is useless. Good good Lucio knockback into the 16 Sonya. And they did the right thing. Just go on Tyrael. Force him to use, like, a bad Sanct or kill him. Uh, space Goofs were... Bamboozling them safe, though. Did you see how forced this was? Like, they came from all angles. But then they realized, wait, our opponents are 16. They are not scared anymore. Looking to fight here. Holy ground and Kek is up. They're getting Lucio into the wall! Sanctification on his ass as well. Can they lock him down the next holy ground? Oh, imagine playing Tyrael and not skilling this talent. Oh, the ring! The ring missed again! I appreciate Yasu that he keeps trying, though. Okay, but legit, imagine playing Tyrael and not skilling Force Wall. What the fuck, bro? This is fucking insane. It's so good. I don't even... I don't even know how to put it. It's like one of the best CCs that you can have without having CC. <laughs> ay 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 ay. Man! Like two times, you saw it, right? I mean, I, I'm a Protoss player, so... Like, I know... You know... I built a lot of sentries in my life. And I walled in a lot of roaches. Very nice to see, though. They are running away. They don't want to fight in the boss. This one is... Uh, it's a bit tiny. It's a little bit small compared to this fella. 69 skulls, by the way. Is that the magic number you need? Alfurion used his root. Didn't hit. 
Chen is drinking. There's a glow. Pura got it. Sonia gets kicked in! Sonia might be dead. No! She slips out of it. I think if they go on Chen, he's fine. Oh, she slips out. Barely on the wall here. Flash shield is up. They could turn this. This boss is small. It's still going, though, for a little bit longer. Someone went into the... <laughs> Someone went into the mines. Two catapults. How much did we lose? Not too much. Level 19 and a half. Space goofs will get to 20. If they don't die the next 15 seconds. And they see Sonya on bottom. So there's no threat. This easy camp is spawning. Can they push though? That's the question. Like you get... If, if you... So when you have 20, can you push bottom? Like can you push the Sappas into the keep? Would be kinda... Actually, maybe just killing the fort. It's good enough. Yeah, the Sappas are kinda out of sync with your 20. Oh, you don't... Yeah, yeah. You don't want to go in here <laughs> if the holy ground... <laughs> you don't want to enter there. Maybe they get nothing with 20. They have half a level time, but... Maybe they get nothing. Now, they get the fort, right? Because you... You can threaten the kek here as well. Like once Chen is done with the easy cam. If they try to defend the fort, I think you killed her. Yeah, Dequaza knows that as well. He's already going. Easy cam. Vinland Raiders though played it safe enough. So they will have 20 shortly after the mines open. Let's go into their vision. Because I talked about this, right? Going downstairs already. So they, he sees them actually. He knows that they went downstairs. But what what now? What where where do they go? Like how do you how do you solve the puzzle? They're taking skulls, so you kinda know. Joanna is uh, in here. Turael is completely alone! Sanctification gets off though, Kek! Atanis got kecked in, they should maybe go on him. Very chaotic! Turael is very, very low, he goes down. The ring! The ring hit nothing again, I think! <laughs> Actually, wait, did Yasu... Did Yasu never hit a single target? All game long? By the way, I think the game is lost. Sonya has uh, a lot of core damage. Ah, they did it so weird. I like that they... Like, Johanna went in alone. But the space groups were very split still. Uh, that's uh, over, guys. Genji, Genji can try to get a few uh, extra resets if they clump. Nope. He does not. Vinland Raiders, 1-0. <laughs> Yasu. Yasu actually... He didn't even go ring upgrade. Because he's like, guys... Guys, I've been playing Jaina the, the last 16 minutes. I hit zero. I didn't hit a single guy. And then he's like... He was reading the level 20 talent. Wait, let me bring up the level 20 talent, guys. Just to, to be sure that I don't get it wrong either. Greetings, uh, <laughs> each enemy hit reduces the cooldown. <laughs> he's like, nah. I can't! I cannot get value from this! I can't, guys! I think he might have misclicked. I think he might have misclicked his level 10, and then he was done for on level 20. Well, if you're not going I think he was done. I don't think he liked his talent choice. 
Man, they lost the fight even though they got the holy arena off. But they were very split. I feel like there was uh, different shot calls. Because I think going into the mines early, luring the opponents down, and then you pounce on them is actually good. But they did it very uncoordinated. And then Tura almost got one shot. He got sanked off, but they couldn't really utilize the... They couldn't really utilize the, the sank. By the way, there there is a, there is a few. Uh, there might be maybe he hit a few of the rings, but Lucio obviously uh, can cleanse the target right out uh, out of the ring. So maybe he did actually hit someone. <laughs> I, I will not count it out, but I'm pretty sure he hated his choice. And as I said, he had zero setup. Like his draft has zero setup for him, so he has to do it by himself. Which he can. Like, you can do that. It's just lo a lot less... Uh, or it's less reliable. Honestly, the Malfurion setup... Like, it, when the Malf hits two people with his root... That's, that's the only setup he will get. But realistically, that shouldn't happen either. Joanna is unstoppable, Atanas is unstoppable, and Lucio gives everyone else unstoppable, yeah. That, uh... That is true. Ah, uh, the last fight, I think, was... Very uncoordinated. I think... Yeah, uncoordinated by the goofs. That's why it looked so strange. Let me see. Maybe we can bring it up one more time before we join the lobby. Wait, no, I will join the lobby. Uh, wait, let me go. Level 20 fight. So, let's see real quick. Where is it? This one. So right now she's completely alone, right? But now, now there are five and Tura El Chen are completely alone. Because the rest, actually Jana didn't even skill 20 yet. She's like choosing a talent. But uh, yeah, talent available. And they couldn't use the Sanct. That's the biggest... Like, the level 20 Sanct is very strong. But they can't use it. Because it's like... He's 1% and no one else got anything good. What if Jaina rings now? When did she ring? Uh, wait, when did she ring? Where is Jaina here? Oh, Jaina is just dead. Ah, oh, she just rings on the air. <laughs> He's just dead, actually. <laughs> uh... Uh... We have to give Yasu credit, though. He's playing on high ping. Like, he's playing cross server. So it's actually quite difficult. I think if the team plays closer to Chen and Tyrael there, they can punish them when they enter, but they were not close enough. And then it be then it got very awkward. Like the other option is then then you don't play for it at all, right? You just gobble up the skulls. Like you can also do that. Like you enter early and you set up your team on the bottom side of the mines so you instantly get like I don't know, 40 skulls. Jaina clears one with Blizzard. Genji clears like the other one. Chen gets one of the camps, and then you group again, and you can look for a fight. I think these are the two options you have. And they somehow did something in the mi like in between. <laughs> they tried to assassinate them, and then some of them were picking up skulls, and then they didn't do either. Hmm. 
I mean, yeah, Yasu is playing on high ping. There's, that's just how it is, guys. Like, yeah, playing from Canada, right? So. He's representing NA in this tournament. But yeah, if Mene, if Mene would have watched that game, he would have lost his remaining hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> was pretty unlucky. Very unlucky. <clears throat> yeah, y Yasu is play like, he relocated to Canada, guys. So he's like, Playing on, I don't know, 150, 180 ping? I don't know exactly. Let me ask him. Maybe, maybe he will. See, he says 200. 200 ping right now for him, which is pretty high, like... It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty rough, 200 ping. Like when, when I played on NA, across, like when we, when we played CCL, I had like 120, 140 at, like at the most. But Copenhagen, for example, he also had like 180. So there were pl people that played in the CCL with uh, that high ping as well. Chengua 500 ping. Chengua. I don't know what's going on, by the way. I don't know what they are doing here. Oh my god. Did you see what happened? Because they broke the lobby. I got the host. The only reliable person in the lobby or what's going on? What the fuck? What is happening here? <clears throat> okay, now we go, I think. I hope everything is set correctly. No one fucked up first pick? No, I think we're good. Just a small hiccup. Solving the, the puzzle of the, the players and observers. And obviously the Frenchies... They like to kick each other, so... <laughs> like they, I think they quasi kept saying, kick masquerade. Kick masquerade, please. <laughs> uh... Please kick him. By the way, chat, thanks for the resubs. Let me, let me see real quick. I, I don't think I mentioned anyone yet. Uh, Nick Johnson, 58. Uh, Lyco with the 16. We had Revive Hots with the raid. Sashka with the 11 months. Xali Vero with the 3 months. And uh, Fiend with the 4 months as well. Welcome back. Thank you. Alterac Pass. <clears throat> Map number 2. Anubarak gets banned. Sylvanas is out as well. Kick Maska and ready, yeah. <laughs> uh,
Will everything be played today? No. Uh, th there's gonna be matches tomorrow as well. But I didn't actually really look into the schedule. I... I was too depressed after what happened to us. So I, sh I showed up today. But I didn't really look at it. Because it pains me too much. <laughs> like... Uh, it, tom I think tomorrow it starts at 3pm as well. And I would assume it's like 3 matches tomorrow. Maybe 2. I'm not sure though. Hogger first pick. Wait, is... Uh... Blaze is in, no? Yeah. So you trade Blaze Hogger always on this map. They are both too good to pass on Alterac. Mm, they secure the Bright Wing. Junkrat got banned, by the way. Hmm. Anduin Hanzo. So Genji is already gone. Tracer is still in. Um, I mean, Zaratul is in as well. I, I don't know. Like, it's a pretty big map. Both Hanzo and Anduin are kind of squishy. I don't think they play Zaratul though. No one really plays Zaratul anymore, right? It's early, it's just so weak. But the, the, the pushing heroes are kind of bummed out, so I don't know. But I don't think we will see it. It's actually, Vinland Raiders is way, way more likely to draft like Tracer, Sarge and Hammer, these kind of heroes. And, and like Nano, I don't know, maybe Chromie. The question is which tank they play here. I just pick Muradin, no? Like you pick tank DPS now. Maybe, yeah, so it's Tracer. Is it Muradin? It's Diablo actually. Yeah, that makes more sense than Muradin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's better. So I think they should go Grey Main or yeah, I don't know. Uh, triple melee could also be fine if you go triple melee here. Like tank and then some bruiser. Varian Hammer. Uh, that's fine. Gives the last pick though to counter the hammer. Blaze is fine into hammer because of the tech speed slow. Diablo, Tracer, and Brightwing, they kinda are not that great into I mean Brightwing can be with the <laughs> Like with the Q build, you can keep shooting at the hammer. But both Tracer and Diablo are not really good into it. Chromi is though. Chromi can barrage. <clears throat> I feel like both teams got a solid draft. And Yasu on Sarge and Hammer, it's... Actually, he still has to press E on time. <laughs> when Diablo comes for him, he has to press uh, W or E on time. <laughs> Just saying. The Panzer General! So yesterday people were asking, right? Like the Varian versus Tracer. Let, let's let's try to keep an eye on it. Like how much interaction these two heroes actually have. Like if the Varian is gonna shit on Tracer or not. Or if Varian just kills other people. <laughs> Der Panzer General! X-Ray on Anduin. Hm. Ho 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 ho! 
Der Panzergeneral! W build Chromie. It's very good into the hammer in terms of burst. <clears throat> and it's... I mean, yeah. Lifesteal and graduating range? Do you think that's what Yasu's gonna go for? Ho 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 ho! Der no way, no way he does that. I mean, lifesteal maybe. I think like lifesteal is a pretty solid talent. Graduating range is. Uh, Is a bad talent though. I mean, uh, no, uh, wait, let me put it like this. Level 7 uh, for such an hammer, when you can finally start moving, it's it's what makes the hero viable. So if you don't have it, your hero is not viable. Alright, let's see. Both Blaze and Hogger. Want to be here at minute one. Touch Lemma goes down. Did we... We kind of... I mean, we didn't pull, but we used kind of the rest. Did he use everything? Yeah. Trade and stim pack. He really needs <clears throat> he really needs level four. Ah okay. <laughs> Cause he used thrusters as well. Five man mid, Blaze is uh... Oh, they lost the whole wall. <clears throat> this is kinda... This is kind of good for the goofs. Uh, okay. Oh, Sven missed the stun. They still get the kill on Hammer. Yasu, more like 300 ping. <laughs> like seeing him driving. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> now they lost the wall as well. Bro! What the fuck, man? The Quasa is on time. He's checking the, the time and date. He's like, I gotta be here. Place is gonna be slightly too late. Actually, he's not too late because this camp is 20 seconds late. You see the big difference, right? This one is already done. This one didn't even spawn yet. Another 10 seconds. So if you if you keep doing it like this, like on time every every step throughout the game, you basically get an extra easy camp. And we all know these fucking guys, they reduce armor on buildings as well, by the way. So it's very very powerful. To fight or siege with them. No, Yasu, not again! Yasu! Oh, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> he's good, he's good. <clears throat> oh, he went, uh... He went live leech. Because of the Chromie Pope. He's fine, he's fine. So he went live leech. <clears throat> I think if you... I think... Okay, let me... Listen. And I, I played a lot of Sarge Lemma games. I think if you go live leech, you want to be on the side lane. Uh, loop on Hanzo. Man, he got looped so deep! He got looped here! 
more than halfway of the lane. What? I don't know how he got so deep to begin with. But yeah, I think uh, if you if you go light, I think you want a side lane with Hammer. Uh, especially on Alterac early on. Oh, the Hanzo kill pains them a lot. We see Diablo slowing down the rotation towards bottom so they get more damage on the fort. Level nine and a half. Vinland Raiders having a very, very good early game here. Nice scatter. Hanzo did a lot of damage. I don't think he... Ah, uh, cannot kill. This one though, maybe. Does Hawkeye have a stun? He does. And they get the kill. Anduin is deep, but... No, he's not deep. He's fine. He got the uh, time trap, but... They're winning a 10 versus 9 fight here. Such an ammo! Oh, no! <laughs> oh! He had thrust us up, but he was greedy and he only pressed E. Oh, Yasu, Yasu, Yasu. Good scatter again, but uh, step into the dojo is not gonna be enough today. Because Brightwing is scamming. Zing onto the tracer. The fort was very low. That's why they can do the dive. My tires in! Get me out! Blaze is capping the objective. Finland Raiders is in an extremely good position. Varian is trying to block the... The entry onto the looped Anduin. Thought the loop might get the kill, but... Couldn't follow up on it. Arrow. Chromie walked into the arrow! Right wing with the cleanse though. Tracer took some damage. Has to E out. Pull on to Varian. Chromie doesn't have ice blocker right now! She's killable, no? Look at her, she's running! Oh, she's running so fast with her little legs, the gnome legs! Look at her! Into the mud! <laughs> Diablo might be down actually. Another Chromie trap, buying time. He does uh, use his swords to come back. Good arrow. Good Brightwing cleanse. And Vinland Raiders getting the objective. And the only hero they lost is already back. And uh, if you die like this, you will farm quite some souls because you're pushing anyways into the minion wave. Hanzo again! Hello! Coming for him every time. Every time he's on the on the side lane, they come for him. He killed himself here when he got looped. But this one and this one, he just can't do anything. He cannot be there. Like he needs to abandon the fort. They are deep. Bunker is good though. Arrow might be better! Oh! The shockwave as well! Oh my god, Sarge Lemma died again! Yasu, bro, he has thrust us one more time! Chromi on the run. I think she's fine. Yeah, she's gonna be out. Hocker survives as well. Good arrow. Good arrow by Hanzo. It does it does it help them though? They lost all forts, which is problem on Alterac. Like the map. Because it has two bosses. Hanzo wants to help Varian. What is this? Hanzo asks for assistance. I think they muted each other in voice. They're just pinging. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, Varian, why are you also taking minions? Now they get the boss. Hanzo has level 4 W, so this is very, very fast. Bottom one is taken as well. Space Ghosts need to win a fight. But 
But they, they can also... Maybe you just sit back. I, but you will have to fight for the objective. It's too strong on this map. But I wanted to say, maybe on, on level 20 they win. Because Hammer level 20 is very strong. Hey, hey, hold up. Diablo is trying to force the fight. Yeah, Hanzo is spot lane. It's 4v4. Everyone is alive. Imagine playing Hanzo. Fucking saddest hero in the game when there's a uh, Tracer or Genji. Actually, it's the Brightwing as well, right? It's these two together that scam you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Yasu, no! No! Okay. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> I thought he's gonna blow up again. Wait, Chromie is not done. Chromie is not done with him. Okay, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> you know, when I see the, the spell power, <laughs> it's like, oh, no, not again. Man, Midland Raiders is so far ahead. They... They will have 16 before this is gone. But they have to force very fast, like... Ooh, nice scatter. Diablo took a lot of damage. Tracer in the back against Hammer. I think that is a good fight for the Hammer, usually. The next scatter could kill Diablo. Tracer against Shockwave! They cross up with a big punish! Recall was not used. Hanzo will get another kill, maybe. No. BFG! Did hit the Brightwing, not the Blaze. I think Blaze was alive, though. And once again, they... Ooh, nice Sarge and MRW. Yasu, he's getting barrage though! <laughs> he goes very, very low. Blaze is gonna go down. Space Goofs getting a few kills here. Hogger should be fine. Yeah, barely. They need to defend though. Top lane. Bottom is a lot of experience. You don't really care about the, the horsemen, but... Oh, maybe you fight. Now that you get loop, maybe you have to fight. Okay, nothing happened. Hogger is defending top. Eighteen versus seventeen and a half. You want some of the experience here? It will help you. Never mind. Anzo doesn't want it. One minute, one minute. Ooh, I'm surprised that he didn't go 16Q into the Lord of Terror Blaze. Diablo messed up. Diablo messed up, but he's very tanky. Shockwave. Oh, three people actually got hit. But they cannot do anything with it. We still have Hanzo Arrow. It's double loop. Arrow. She's uh, barraging the back line. She's looping the front line, killing Sergeant Hammer in the back. Uh, Hogger goes down. Hammer is one. And this should be all they need. Bosses, 15 seconds. Both of them are up. You should probably take the top one, get the keep, and hope that the objective spawns now. Hanzo is already going bottom for the boss. It was a good shockwave, but no, like, 
I mean, they have zero dive, right? So when Hogger spins in and gets Shockwave on the back, he either can kill them alone or they probably... I mean, you could try to connect with an arrow, but I think they were cock blocking the path. Hanzo is basing. Did not go for the boss. Diablo will go for a blink. They get a kill and they end the game. Let's uh, go into his vision. Wait, are they... They don't want to? I think you do. It's, uh, what's the wrong guy though? You need to do it on Anduin. Maybe it's good enough actually. Oh, it is good enough. Actually, wait, Anduin had a second pull. Oh, but it worked either way. But he did what... Yeah, it's. I think it's very simple. You just do it. And it... I think you always blink in here as Diablo. Because if you get the kill, you end the game. And if you don't get the kill, I don't think anything happens. I don't think they can kill you. Wait, are they ending the game? The boss is kind of dying. The core is very, very low, though. Okay. <laughs> ah, pretty easy. They were all full HP still. But I like it. He looked for a blink. I think the target choice was not ideal, but... They got the kill anyways. Mm. And actually, Hammer, if so, if because they killed the Hammer, right? Hammer has a lot of damage in terms of defending. So if you get him or her, it's very good. So let's say you blink in and you don't get the kill. I think they can never kill you because you have Bunker, Blink Heal and Z. And spell sheet. Like, your hero is a joke. Like, <laughs> you're not gonna die anyways. But, like, even if spell sheet is useless, then you still have shit wing and you have the bunker. So you... I think you get out every time. And then you fall back to the objective. Because you're still 20. And the opponents are not. Very clean, uh... By Vinland Raiders. I... So I don't think there was any Varian on Tracer action. In fact, Tracer played away from teamfights. She, she was matching the offlane, killing Hanzo like two or three times. With Brightwing Z. Uh, in teamfights... Yeah, I don't think Varian really ever got to taunt her either. The only time she died, she got hit by Shockwave. It was not... Varian had nothing to do with it. The Quasar got Shockwave on her. Chromie... I mean, Chromie is a good pick into Sarge and Hammer. It's very easy to hit. W deals a lot of damage. How do they win? On, on 6, I think 16 is okay, because they get Giant Slayer. And I think Hogger should go 16Q. I don't know why he went this one. Because I think you can kill Frontline. Like, Giant Slayer, Giant Slayer. Uh, the, whatever it's called. This one, 8%. 8 percent uh. And you, <clears throat> and you have a Sarge and Hammer draft, so I think you play front to back no matter what. But yeah, Finland Raiders too, uh, too clean. Wait, it's 2-0, right? Is it 2-0? I think it's 2-0. Let me see. Because first map was mines, right? Yeah, first map was mines. So I think... So I think if Hammer is the one that is offlaning instead of the Hanzo, I mean, offlaning, right? Like there's on Alterac, you kind of have to soak top and bottom. Like, you get my point. It's not going to be the four man that does it, because the map is shaped differently. Uh, I think Hammer doesn't die the same way as Hanzo. I think it's harder for the Tracer. It might still happen though, actually. 
So I think on bottom, when the fort is that low, I think Sergeant Hammer might die the exact same way if right wing Z's onto Tracer. But Hammer should be more reliable to fight back in those scenarios. I think maybe giving them Diablo, Tracer, Brightwing plays is maybe the problem. Because you, like the uh, Diablo, Diablo, Brightwing, very good together, right? So the Diablo doesn't really die. But then Tracer kills everyone as well. And she's good with Brightwing as well. So you need to draft against Diablo and you need to draft against Tracer. So you end up with Varian who's useless because he doesn't he doesn't kill Tracer and he doesn't kill anyone else. <laughs> and then you pick Hammer to counter the Tracer, but Hammer is actually useless as well that game. I mean I think Yasu didn't play it very good, but uh yeah. What did so they they first picked Hogger right and then it was Blaze Brightwing. So I think the uh, the two three was a problem then. What did they pick? Anduin something? Anduin, Anduin Hanzo. Yeah, that's maybe a yellow card. Like in hindsight, it's probably wrong. I think. I think you pick. Anduin Tracer, if you want to go that route. Maybe. But I don't know. Maybe they could have won with this draft, but they probably have to play very well. I think it's quite a bit easier for the opponents to execute what they have. Not sure, though. Like, I think Vinland Raiders just looked much better overall and then the i mean the draft plays into it but they also outplayed them <clears throat> could be could be our second 3-0 by the way because ash already won 3-0 against storm league enjoy us vinland raiders are looking good against the goofs tomb of the spider queen Junkrat will be high contested here. He was banned last map, so we maybe just see a ban on him again. Kerrigan, Mayev are both very good on this map. Johanna is gone already. She would be nice, but... Um, what else is big? M Medivh could be big. I think these, yeah. And then you need a smart drafter that puts these heroes in a good order. And gets you something nice. Ah, Alexstrasza Mephisto, of course. Nano plays a lot of Mephisto, so... That's, uh... It's a good ban, so is the Mayev. So you kind of want to trade good picks here. So you cannot ban all the juicy ones, because you want some of them as well. Actually, Medivh gets banned too. So Kerrigan, Kerrigan is very interesting now, because Medivh is out. Uther is in though, right? I think Uther is still in. Maybe they first pick Uther. There goes the red. It's kind of predicted as well. So Kerrigan is still very important. I think Uther is very important. Do 
Israel. Mostly because Dequaza is very, very good at the hero. They picked the Uther away. Now you you cannot go Jaina anymore. You would love Jaina into the garage, but it's gone already. So how do we control Garrosh? I think Lunara could be okay. Fuck, I kinda I forgot what is Anuba Aktasada. Hmm. Wasn't Muradin still in? Or did we see him earlier? I don't think we saw him in this best of five so far. Oh, that, that's respect ban actually for X-Ray, the Ana ban. That's quite interesting. Because I don't think Ana looks good at all with what they have right now. Like, has no synergy, but. X-Ray likes to play the hero. The Kerrigan got banned after all. I think that's probably correct. I think she would farm them. Hmm. <clears throat> Valarexa, last pick for Nano. He will probably go a mage. Maybe he goes. Se ah! They could pick Auriel. Auriel last, because they have Crankle. Isn't that so? Yeah, that might be. Actually, they might do that. Oh, Savannah's was in. I forgot about her. She should have, yeah, she should have been very high contested. Sylph was still in, yeah. Wait, is it Auriel or is he picking a mage? What else? Could go Imperius. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, reading them like a book. Imagine I could still play in this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Get me out of here, man. Ah, it's a good setup, though. They they set it up nicely with the Aurel. Because they had... Uh, like, these three pieces. And it's actually Nano gonna play it. And it's, it's good into the Anubarak, because... So... Anub could cocoon the Uther and then they could maybe kill someone. But now you have like Aegis or Dishi. Like you can cocoon one, but they both actually have a panic button. Like you're gonna have Aegis and D shield. So Gar Garrosh can throw in and then you have Uther Bonk and Aurel Whip. So you actually have follow-up if you do it close to a wall. Garrosh needs to be... Like, the guy that he throws, he, he needs to kind of throw it somewhat close to a wall. And then Auriel has to line it up. Tassala on this map has very, very good wave clear. But Vala, I think Vala is fine because she's gonna keep hatred up between mid and top. And Auriel actually has good wave clear as well. Sounds a bit silly, but for a support, she has pretty good wave clear. So I think the X factor is the Sylvanas, because Sylvanas can push bottom when the four man. Because these guys want to hold hands. Auriel, Vala, Uther, Garrosh, they kind of want to be together. So Sylvanas could be the X factor if she. Like she could start pushing bottom. Maybe get the easy. Actually, get, starting the easy might be scary. 
Because, uh... Five, four, three, two, Rexa will sniff it. Because he has Flair and Misha to sniff the... We will see. I think if Sylvanas just plays in the four-man, it's not good. Because I don't think they are supposed to do anything in the four-man. She's going. Rexa wants this area is dangerous. So he didn't confirm it yet, but he's because Savannah's is missing. You kind of suspect it. had it oh savannah's oh no oh irel is gonna die as well i think but it's the quasi he's a god gamer oh he got the cam he's so good oh he's so fucking good ay 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 but he had to witness what his savannah's was doing so his eyes are probably bleeding at least he got the cam Close, they almost stole it. Both Irel and Garrosh are very good on the spot because this guy throws you off, and she has the knockoff as well. He salvaged it for them, though. Like, if he doesn't get the cam, the <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's the Danish Sylvanas. Do you remember from the Nations Cup? Every time Team Denmark played Sylvanas, it was very, very poor. Let's hope... Uh, fuck, I pressed the wrong button. Let's hope... Tiazeka uh, can, can reset his mind here. I'm getting flashbacks here. Bonk. Hard camp is done. This one is still pushing, but it's gonna be stuck at the wall now. Aurel is... Uh, split off from her family. He also has 17 coins. I think he should have tried to pay... Gets onto Garrosh. No, no one is. I don't know. It was a good wall because it dismounted him and on the wrong side, but they can't kill, right? Because it's double support. I think they have no kill pressure. How do they get kill pressure? Deck out level 7, healing reduction. That's how you get kill pressure. But uh, your Anubarak is dead. Like uh, this one, Emerald. That's how you have kill pressure. You need it level 7. Sylvana somehow got caught. Couldn't she... You mount, you walk here, and then you E over. Isn't that the... I didn't... Fuck, I didn't see exactly how she got caught. Like, when I looked, she was already gone, but... Because she she knew that they are coming from mid, right? Because they killed your Anubarak in mid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, 
And they're level 9 already. Web Weavers are pushing in. Look at Gar Like, Garrosh is not scared at all. Like, he's fucking standing in their base. Someone needs to dismount him. Thank you. Pro in two seconds. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, 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 oi. Deckard? Did he did he take a, a sip from the moonwell? Um, boss is being taken. They currently don't have a second pay, but they are close to it. Space Goofs technically can pay. Man, yes, you, someone really get rid of your coins, bro. So you can, so you can int a little as well. Finland Raiders have another payment. Okay. Everyone needs to click because they have exactly enough. Actually, buy one. Hard camp invade. If they invade, wait, this is a fight that. Okay, they're not invading, they're just holding. Because I think they re would really like to fight it. Garrosh gets D-Shield. That's what I meant. You cocoon one, but you still have the other button. She still has Aegis. Uses it on herself. Gets the heal off. Aurel will go down. But they get two in return. fine Forcing black hole, sleep, cocoon, everything. I feel like we didn't hit much of it, but Aurel is very separated right now. She got Aegis off. Uther doesn't have D shield yet. Two seconds. Wait, Rexa is in as well. Wow, two kills. You love to see that. That is, uh... Please come back into the game, guys. Space Goofs took it. Yeah, I mean, what's the interesting engage? Anubarak just eat in. They couldn't punish him. And the timing was decent, because no D-Shield. Like, Black Hole and Sleep were... I mean, we just pressed every... I mean, they were, they were committed. They were decisive. They used everything. And the cocoon was actually the one that made the difference. Oh, three man taunt! Hoy, oh, yeah, yeah, Garrosh with the three man taunt! Irel goes in though. Black hole. On the Aegis. Deckard Sleep got interrupted. Vala is. fine. Definitely fine. Deckard is trying to pick up the coins! I can't. 
please give me the coins. Actually, yeah, the fight here was good because the cocoon was uh, decent. Hello? Oh! Oi, 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 oi! <laughs> Guys, I found something. I found something, but I don't know. I don't know if I like what I what I found. <laughs> Level 16 versus 14. Bosses in 30 seconds again. Easy camp. Even with a small hiccup <laughs> that the Vinland Raiders had, they are have another pay in six coins. Three plus three. I think that's six guys. They have a pay again. And they can do boss. Oh, perfect sync, baby. Please do it. Please don't mess it up, guys. Please show me. The old the old ways of the AGC. And if they come, you kill them. Because they... They will have to check the boss. Stun. Oh. Didn't taunt mid-air. That's a bit of a yellow card. I think uh, Irel gets one shot if he does. She still gets one shot. Oh, she's fine. Okay, we probably just pay now. Because uh, we couldn't kill. I mean, we, we could have killed, but we didn't want to... Do it. Okay, we kill anyways. Anubarak goes down. Could start the boss again now that we got a kill. Which they do. Still the easy camp. Don't forget about that one. I guess Tassada is here. Hold up. Ah! Okay. Hold up. Deckard is looking for a sleep, but the angle is not that great. Anubarak just borrows in again. Earlier it worked. Does it work this time? Deckard gets thrown into the team. Vinland Raiders is greeting him with open arms. Get in here, my friend. And they have a double support draft, so every team fight is like super easy for them. As long as they play together. Like. The, the Quasa has left the game. And that's another 3 0. Vinland Raiders looking uh, looking good. <clears throat> my team is sabotaging my draft already. I want to go back to bed. Wait, which game was that? Your message, I mean. Is it was it this draft? I wonder. <clears throat> the first one. Ah, okay. Uh, unlucky. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. Yeah, this was uh, completely blowout. They couldn't do anything. I think they also got outdrafted pretty hard. I think the Aurea last pick is... I think it's securing the win. I think there's actually almost nothing they can do. As I said, they should have maybe first picked Uther. I don't know. I Like, I I said it, maybe. Like, I think Uther was very, very important. Uh, wait, let me see the first draft. What what kind of sab sabotage? 
Uh, he also had to play the Jaina. No, I, wait, I remember the first map now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Three zero. Two times in a row. Two different teams. Which brings up, I mean, Ash versus Vinland Raiders. Both of them kind of stomped the other teams, more or less, like very one-sided maps. So we will get to see those two against each other. Never draft Tassada. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think, I think Tassada, I think Tassada can be fine. 